Hi guys, my name is MJ. Welcome to Vertusoy channel. What a weekend. What a weekend. So we just had a mini um, uh, Tarmac Works uh, mini car festival in Malaysia. And um, so we had two exclusive models. The one everyone has been talking about, the RWB 993 Midas Touch. That was one of it. And the other one was the Honda Civic FD2. Right. Uh, this one I'll talk about a little bit later. Today I want to talk about the RWB first. So in the background, um, what I have here is a couple of uh, RWBs that uh, Tarmac Works has already done so far. Okay, so the first one, the first one that they announced was actually this one, the Stella R12 in the container, um, in a container box, right? And then. Um, yeah, this, this was the first one being announced and then there was the two Japan exclusive cars okay, and then came, um, I can't remember which one which came first I think that the first one was that white and then the Apple and then the EA Games and then we had the Tarmac Works Owners Club and um, recent, a couple of months back um, the Rough Freedom Green Hong Kong exclusive and just over the weekend, Miras Touch Okay, so we had two versions um, that was uh, given to us, alright? Um, so one is actually the dinner car. This was made specif uh, specially for people who attended the dinner. Um, it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was about 180 pieces. Okay, so um, we look at it, we quickly look at the, the two um, difference. Basically, the car is pretty much the same. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Um, it's just that the dinner car actually had that 19 decal on it. So 19, I believe, believe uh, it represents the year uh, 2019. Okay, that's on the car. On the Arclay box, the difference would be the sticker. Okay, this is the most obvious one, Mini Car Festival, Malaysia. Alright, and on the sleeve, the difference would be right underneath. This one says Mini Car Festival, Malaysia, dinner model. Well, this is... Um, yeah, it doesn't say the dinner, okay? Also, um, the dinner car, it did not come with any card. You know that limited edition card? So the regular one actually came with the card. Okay, so my card is slightly damaged, unfortunately, because I have been taking this guy out for some photos. And um, yeah, <coughs> unfortunately, I just bent my card, damn it. Anyway, um, I really like the number that I got. It's a very Chinese number, um, 1388. Okay, so the model name is here, Malaysia Exclusive Model. So this one um, in the regular car had that card, the dinner car did not. Okay, so let's take a closer look at it. All right, so at the back, um, <clears throat> it came with um, Tarmac Works signature photography, um, street photography. Okay, so this one looks like it's somewhere in Japan, I'm guessing, because the signboard has a bit of um, Japanese writing on it. And um, I noticed there's a Hard Rock Cafe logo up here. So yeah, it's somewhere in f in, in front of um, Hard Rock Cafe in Japan. Okay, at the back is the usual um, RWB packaging from Time It Works, which is their logo. and. RWB's logo and Tamarin Works logo. Okay, so I'll just put that aside. So basically, on that, the regular event model has the very same photograph and also the same logos at the back. Okay, <coughs> all right, so we'll go straight to it. Let's open this one up <coughs> and take a closer look. So, my guess is, um, I haven't really compared both. My guess is because it's the same model 993 with the uh, um, this one okay so my guess is the main difference it's the uh, the tail okay so let's take it out and take a closer look at it so really um, Tarmac Works has done a pretty decent job if um, a, a great job I would say on this um, RWB 1 to 64 scale models check that out <coughs> I'll let it zoom a little bit Look at that. Very clean. Very nice details on the car. Let's zoom a little bit more. 
The color combination is really very nice, the yellow on the black wheels. Nice, very nice. To the back, tail lights. Oh. So my guess is um, <clears throat> this is actually the real number plates, which uh, RWB usually, uh, sorry, with uh, Tamai Works usually tend to do. I'm not sure where the one to one scale, where does this uh, RWB currently resides. Um, if you do know, please um, you know let me know in the comment section below. I'm still um, recovering from the, uh, the aftermath of the event. I'm, I'm a little bit under the weather, but I really wanted to share this piece with you guys. So, yeah. Our own Midas Touch. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'll, I'll take a close up, you know, let's, let's take a close look at this one as well. I'll just remove it from, I'll just remove the cover. Okay, so basically the car itself, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, I think I can say it's the same, it's just the decal. Yep, just the decal. Okay, so underneath, as usual, there's some details, they didn't leave it out. The muffler this time, it's chromed up, not chrome, sorry, silver, silver painted, nice. So this one, yeah, uh, doesn't roll, <laughs> doesn't roll, which I'm fine with it. Damn, it just looks so beautiful. So interior-wise, um, it's all in black. Um, but what we can see is, okay, let it zoom a little bit. What we can see is there's a Ricaro seat, okay, and the Takata safety belts in green. Love it. Love it. Okay, so let's just do a very quick comparison with the, uh, the 993. Okay, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> let's go, let's check this one out as well, let's take it out of the base. So far most of the uh, the base of this uh, Tamang Works RWB, it's always the RWB logo with a very similar um, texture to it. So only the the pink one, the Tam uh, Tamai Works Owner Club, that one has the uh, the kangaroo print on it. Okay. And I remember um, the the Tokyo Auto Salon model. This one, I remember the base is slightly different as well. But I can't recall what was it. We'll, we'll look at it later. Oh, it's so difficult to open this one. There we go. Finally. <clears throat> okay. So let's, uh, let's take it out of the base. Let's take it out of the base and we take a closer look. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> okay, 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 here we go, here we go. Right. <clears throat> okay, so let's check out the front. So it looks pretty much the same from the front. The wipers, the black strap here, is it an intake? I'm not sure what detail is that. Mm, both of it has it, the Porsche logo up front, the tow hook in front, the front lip, they're all the same. So on the side, the details are very similar as well, door handle, the side mirror, the interior, yep, pretty much very similar. It has, the Rough Freedom also has the uh, Recaro seats. We go underneath. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as well with the silver muffler. Okay, then we go to the back. This is the most obvious difference. So one is with the high wing, 
Okay, the rough rhythm has the high wing while the middle touch has the low duck bill wing. So my guess is it's pretty much the same um, casting, but we can see that the spoiler, the, the back engine cover, right? Um, it's basically a separate piece. So yeah, um, that gives some um, time I work some flexibility to, to you know do a variance um, using a similar casting, but it can create more variance um, in a more um, economical way, I would say, which I think it's really very good because Otherwise, you know, we'll, we'll always be stuck. They, they will always be stuck with one, um, one mole, and then they just keep reproducing it. But now, um, they're able to, you know, um, come up with a variable, different variants. I think that that is uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nice. Very nice. I like how they managed to pull off the deep dish wheels as well nice very nice work by tarmac works so right as, as of now i think this these are basically the best rwbs rwb models out there Yeah, that's just me, you know, really <laughs> ogling at them right now because they're really very, you know, very detailed. They're very precise. Um, I don't see any, I don't see any QC issues on on the ones I have as well. So, great job on um, you know, Tarmac Works pulling up to you know to expectations. Um, they. I don't I don't see as much QC problems um, as they used to, so I think that is really a very big um, improvement on their part. All right, so um, that's about it for now. I will cover the other um, Malaysia exclusive uh, FD two a little bit later. All right, so. As usual, I will be taking close-up photos of these guys and putting them on my Instagram. Remember to follow me there, virtutoys.mj. Remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you don't miss on any of my Zaka's videos. Alright, thank you very very much for watching and thank you very much for those guys that actually dropped by at my booth on um, Sunday on the 1st of September. Thank you very very much for your support. Yep, that's all. Alright, goodbye.